Hi guys, today on our review 2021 Kia Telluride in Nightfall edition. There are now a lot of hype about this model and I would like to tell you why. I would like to start our review from the quote which I saw in Car and Driver magazine when they write why they choose this car as a car of the year, as a SUV of the year. And what they tell? Only one car between Cadillac Escalade and Kia Telluride has vented rear seats. And that's not Cadillac. On front of us, not regular Telluride. It's a S6 version, which is top of the line, and also it's included a Nightfall package. Nightfall package included a little bit darker, I would say more black uh, emblem of Kia, black grille with a, not, without chrome, black letters on the hood, black trim on the front bumper, black trim in headlight, 20 inch black gloss wheels, some black chrome molding here, black chrome underneath of uh, windows, black railings, black letters on the back, and uh, of course black emblem. That's everything included in here. And you know what's a really nice idea about this Nightfall uh, package? That a lot of customers complain on forums that only one bad thing about the Kia Telluride, it's his Kia emblem. If nobody gonna tell you that you're driving Kia, it's gonna be something like Range Rover or anything more fancy. Right now, Kia Telluride start to be crazy popular on the market. The, one of the best things about Kia Telluride is that Kia provides you much more options compared to other vehicles in the class for less money. And additionally to good value, Kia also looking very good. That's, I believe, why even if you're gonna go to some pretty expensive town in Massachusetts and will ride on some school parking lot or gonna park next to some expensive gym, you will find that a lot of Tellurides right now on the parking lot or next to the school. I believe people don't shame anymore to drive Kia and they change his uh, Range Rover and Lexus for something, I would say, looking even more cooler but for less money. Even a lot of my friends never recognize that so many Kia Telluride around. And one of the biggest advertisements for Kia Telluride, which Kia did by itself, it's amber headlight. That's how you can recognize this car in the car stream. Our Kia Telluride has 20 inch rims, which look very nice, but I would say I wish to see something like more 22 inch on this car, because this gap, maybe it's nice for off-roading, but I would say makes this car look a little bit more funky. And uh, what I am not really like, and the same, it's good idea, uh, that's the tires. Tire size is 245-50 R20. It's exactly the same tire size as on Honda Pilot. And what I can tell about these tires, first of all, it's really nice tires. It's Michelin Primacy Tour AS, which is all season tires and one of the best Michelin tires right now on the market. But bad thing about it, it's a profile because it's pretty low profile tires. And for example, uh, my Dodge Durango has 265-50 R20, which is, has more beef uh, on the sidewall. And in this case, for example, why I don't really like the Kia Telluride as a family vehicle, because it's nice and soft on the hard bumps. But if you're riding somewhere on the, like very small bumps, I would say it's too rough. And uh, I would suggest, again, you can put over here a little bit tire, bigger tires, for example, like 255, 50 R20. Of course, in this case, your speedometer would be not so accurate, but uh, in the same time, you can get more comfort. But also, maybe you're gonna lose some of your handling. That's probably the reason why they put this tire size. Also, they put 245 wide tires. I believe not only because look nicer, I think it's a little bit thin. And probably that's the way how Kia tried to fight with not the best gas mileage in the class. It's really nice that Kia put from manufacturer Michelin tires on it, but I believe not so many owners of Kia would put Michelin tires again because they're really expensive and the to be honest, Kia owners usually never spend so much money on a car and this means that in the future probably this car would ride worse because this car would use cheaper tire. 
Okay, what is under the hood of 2021 Kia Telluride? Whatever is for 2020 and 2019, it's still the same 3.8 liter engine with 291 horsepower. The engine working together with 8-speed automatic transmission and by my opinion it's one of the smoothest transmission on the market right now. You can see that Kia has, I would say, more better quality compared to other competitors in this class, even how it looks under the hood. For example, noise insulation, not many vehicles have it. For example, this gas shocks to hold your uh, hood, which is usually in this kind of price range, you have something like stick, well, something like this, right? But Kia is fancy stuff, right? What I can tell about this engine, I would say not really much, because Kia is not so popular on Massachusetts market right now. And problem is because of the rust. Yes, if you check how Kia look under the hood and under the knees, they use very nice coating. You see how accurate everything, all welding spot is covered, everything is painted, but metal in general, at least for now, as I know, it's really horrible. And then if at least you get some cheap salt from uh, New England road, we'll eat this metal right away. And this is why I would say I'm not gonna hold any Kia on the Hyundai after 10 years in New England. Until 10 years, it's a great car. Okay, what's under the engine car over here? First of all, you see that engine, it's much more, I would say, simple compared to Nissan's engine, where a lot of uh, some wiring and the uh, hoses. Hyundai engine looks a little bit more better. But at the same time, you see that, for example, on newer generation of Toyota, where I always complain that they cover one of the part of the engine with the intake manifold, it's still the same on Hyundai. Toyota right now looks much better. And for example, to replace spark plugs on this engine would take definitely more than three hours. On Toyota right now, they reduce it, this number until two, uh, two hours or maybe even less. Uh, but what I can tell you guys, uh, spark plugs you're supposed to change on modern vehicles usually at around 100, 120 thousand miles. And maybe in New England, again, like, it's, I would say, pretty common mileage for seven, 10 years old car. I would say, again, like sell your Kia and uh, don't worry about spark plugs. If you're living somewhere on the south, first of all, it would be easier because all these schools would be easy to run school compared to Massachusetts. And maybe it will make some sense to keep this vehicle for longer period. On Massachusetts, I think the warranty, it's really, show real number of the years which can Kia be surviving on uh, Massachusetts road. It's 10 years warranty, 100,000 miles. It's really right to the point uh, to Kia life in Massachusetts. But in general, uh, compared to everything what I saw before on Massachusetts road, Kia and Hyundai, it's very reliable vehicle in, in mechanic stuff and uh, usually didn't give you a lot of headache during his normal life cycle and uh, I have a really good uh, stuff to buy. I would like to show you something under the hood. You see, Kia still used old school, sick 5W Surrey oil. We have a lot of customers right now uh, on the Honda with 2.4 liter engines, which, and these engines right now burn oil like a crazy because Honda on these engines start to switch oil from thicker one 5W Surrey to thinner one 0W20 and right now, engine yes has very good gas mileage but in the same case burns this oil like crazy but if you're gonna put 5w Surrey, all this honda's engine still live forever that's why i would say still use 5 Surrey, no matter what they're gonna put on his oil cover and tell you in his owner's manual the tail you right has a keyless entry but i would say i'm not the biggest fan of it First of all, what's good about it? As soon as you get closer to the car, your mirrors is open, which is nice. But in the same case, I don't like it that uh, you don't have sensors for this car. For $50,000, better to have. You have just a button. Usually I prefer to have button for closing. In this case, you better understand that you really lock your car. But for opening, I would prefer more sensors. For example, on many other vehicles, you have button to lock your car on a uh, driver's door from passenger. On some more expensive model, you have a lo uh, lock button on the uh, uh, rear passenger door. And additional to this, for example, as on my Dodge Durango, button to lock your car with a 
tailgate, but with Kia Telluride it doesn't work like this. What usually happens? For example, you arrive to home or for example to your apartment. You get out from your seat and then you need to get your stuff after grocery. You open your tailgate, get your stuff and for example in normal vehicle, for example Dodge Durang, you just press your button and went uh, to your home. But with Kia Telluride you're supposed to come back to your door, press the button and then everything done. And only one good thing is that Kia has smart key features which you can set up as automatic lock after you for example get out from car for like long distance but with normal way it doesn't work but i am always prefer more like regular stuff when you really feel as you press the button in big cities for example as in new york or miami i would not really trust all these automatic features yes they will lock your car but you have some couple second gap and for example what could happen with you especially in my native country ukraine when you get out from your vehicle for this couple seconds until it didn't lock himself somebody just open a little bit your trunk jump in the car and then steal some of your value stuff The plastic buttons and everything very nice to look. You see how accurate they are. I would say I don't see any difference compared to any European brand. And I always tell that German car has really expensive plastic for touch, but not for how they reliable. If you would check our BMW review, you will find out how looks BMW buttons or any other plastics uh, with some age in exactly the same situation with any other European brand. Yes, maybe some Asian brand like it feels cheaper, but it doesn't mean that they less reliable. But for Kia, I would say they look nice and they reliable the same as Japanese brands. Buttons for power folding mirror. You press it and your ears is closed. Even legs of a driver feel that you are in a luxury car, not in a cheap one. Check these pedals. They look much nicer compared to anybody in this class, I would say, for cheap mid-size SUV. And uh, your left leg rest also nice and wide and covered by plastic. In this case, you can save your carpet for much longer period. Glove box is, to be honest, I would say too small. All that you can fit over here is uh, your manual and the set of uh, security lug nut. And what we found it in this glove box is a sticker price. And as you can see, the recommended price for this vehicle is $50,405, which is much more expensive compared to what usually they advertise in any car magazine. Because current driver, motor trend, and even if you Google it, you can find it that usually price for this vehicle around $43-$45,000. I will try to put this in description to this video of how much really paid this owner of this vehicle. But as you can see, it's fully, fully loaded with Nightfall Edition package and Prestige package. Only one difference compared to top of the line vehicle that we don't have over here. Uh, monitor and rear headrest, whatever you want, is equipped with this vehicle. I really like that Kia didn't play with all these buttons to shift your gears on this vehicle, just stay with a standard uh, decision with a shifter. I think it's the most comfortable idea and uh, I believe whatever you find it on the market right now would be worse. Standard shifter I think is still the best idea to operate your vehicle. Memory settings for two passengers for front seats, fake wood, but looking very very nice. At least it's not gonna crack as natural wood but high maintenance wood nice looking designer idea to put three air deflector on a center of a dashboard but probably it's not only design idea it's also very practical because this vehicle for some reason doesn't equip with rear deflector for second row but you can use a center one to put air for second row it's very very convenient if if you don't have it additionally two blind spot monitors which you can find it in a side view mirrors. Kia also have uh, the same uh, idea as a 
Honda. When you put turn signal, for example, on the right, you turn on your right uh, rear view camera or on the left, left rear view camera. I think it's a very cool idea, especially with the quality of uh, displays for and screens for uh, Kia. But I would say maybe because I am a kind of old generation compared to newer. And I wish if Kia can put this function to center of display. Uh, because I believe it's much shorter destination to put your view, vision from a uh, side view mirror to center display than look at the uh, center display on behind your steering wheel. I cannot tell anything bad about seats of Kia Telluride. First of all, it's not a leather. Second thing, it's something like a nice combination of uh, European style of building with uh, American. Why I'm telling this? Because this seat is white but with nice size support i would say even nicer compared to x5 which is recently draw it and uh, why i like it because seat has ventilation and heating it's very nice for long trip driving and also they wide they let you rest but in the same time because of the nice side support they hold you very well during some hard uh, corn but uh uh, corning but only one thing which i would say i wish to get more it's upper uh, side support as usually they do uh, on uh, accurate seats the same good combination but little bit weird of japanese and european school it's how they build adjustment of seats for example you have this button to adjust your support of your bottom part of the leg which will be very nice and comfortable for a long owner of a long leg but at the same time they have uh, back support only adjustable in front and back position, but nothing to adjust up and down. Where situation with this piece of plastic under the driver's seat, it's already fell off and lose one of the clip. I don't know even the reason to have them. I believe it would be better just to put like whole cover. According to manufacturer specs, uh, Kia Telluride, one of the most roomiest SUV on the market in the middle class, but uh, Maybe it's not really true because, for example, I don't see any difference for my legroom compared to Chevy Traverse, which I recently tested. And uh, definitely Kia Telluride more uh, scenery compared to uh, uh, Traverse. But if you believe uh, manufacturer spec, Kia Telluride more for legroom for 3 inches. Kia Telluride has 41.4 inches, uh, Chevy Traverse 38.4. Well, the closest competitor to uh, Kia Telluride is uh, Toyota Highlander, which has uh, 41 inch. But to be honest, I think it's all the same, but good idea about uh, Telluride and uh, uh, Highlander is because they, they can adjust this uh, rear seats very well, like with uh, big, uh, amount of space and also they have reclining seat which is even better compared to Mercedes GLS. You can find a lot of review on the Kia Telluride when they can tell you that Telluride has amazing uh, system how to fold your uh, second row. Yes, it's true because you, all what you need is just press one button and this fold. But in the same case, it's working only if you have pretty adult kids who are gonna sit on a third row. Because if you're gonna have like babies, this means that with this kind of design, you need to take your car seat out to be able to put somebody on a second, uh, on a third row, especially if you have a bench seat on a second row. With this kind of seat, uh, captain chairs, it's fine. But again, don't forget if it's gonna be a car seat over here, it's gonna be much harder to get to the center row. And also what I can tell is, it's, to be honest, I think the numbers which you can get on a second row with a leg space, it's uh, only possible if you're gonna move seat all the way back. But in the same case, if you're gonna move seat all the way back, the numbers which they put in advertising for third row passenger for leg room, it's not really accurate. I believe they lie exactly the same as with the trunk. Very important stuff that even in standard version, Kia has sunshade for second row. It's a great, really great. Also with this kind of design, I think it's not, I would say, so much space to get on a third row. As you can see, it's, I would say, pretty easy to get in. But at the same time, 
it's, I would say, too tight to get out. Maybe for some small kids it's fine, but not for adult or for some teenagers. It's pretty tiny over here. I see that Kia really working with everything what bloggers tell or some car magazine reporters and they really put a lot of stuff in this Kia and I would say if I'm gonna be Kia designer what I will do I will do one seat like this design and another one like on Dodge Durango design in this case you can kill as we can tell in Ukraine one uh, I would say two rabbit by one shot the third row I would say nice and comfortable for this size but again I would say Durango and especially Traverse or Buick and Clave is better but you get everything what you need on the third row it's cup holders some pockets for your stuff and the usb port for each passenger and nice that they even have light in this usb port during this for example dark time you can see what you're doing led light for individual uh, reading light but uh, i would say i wish if they could be a little bit more brighter rear seats with perforation it's not without reason the reason is for it that Kia Telluride has cooling and heating system for second row and I saw a lot of comments online when people ask other car owner really could you tell me why my Lexus LX570 is more expensive that, than the Kia Telluride with exactly the same options and that's the reason why Kia Telluride get car of the year according to motor trend even for back seats not only only on the seats on handles also you have leather nice and soft for touch only top line version as s6 and ex has led headlight and also additional to this you can get it with any version it's led fog light for kia telluride gas mileage may be not the best thing about Kia Telluride but it's expectable because it's one of the biggest vehicles in this class plus with the biggest engine 3.8 liter and the gas mileage according to like manufacturer report is 24 miles per gallon on highway and 19 in the city but good thing that at least they not liar with his uh, with his gas mileage because during the long-term uh, test for car magazine as car and driver and motor trend uh, gas mileage was exactly as uh, was described in a brochure by uh, manufacturer because most of the time vehicles has much worse gas mileage maybe only honda pilot shows better result than we expect during long-term test drive they show gas mileage 29 or 27 mpg compared to 24 watts we saw in uh, advertisement brochure for this car the ground clearance for kia telluride is very decent it's eight inch which is much more than enough for modern life with some small off-roading possibility the towing capacity for kia telluride is 5000 pounds which is on a better side of uh, competitors the same as toyota highlander and the uh, chevy traverse but uh, not so good as we expect from dodge durango but better than uh, honda pilot honda pilot has just three and a half thousand and also for 2021 they received as a standard seven point connector compared to previous uh, version with five point connectors what i can tell about handling of kia telluride i would say it's really more on the european side and uh, this is probably why they get so many like achievement points uh, for handling uh, from uh, any car reporter but uh, my opinion it's too rough on uh, small bumps uh, but really good on the big bumps and uh, probably for example if i would compare this vehicle with dodge durango white durango i think is more comfortable because of the bigger tire size and the bigger weight and uh, if you listen uh, car magazine reporters they even tell during one of the tests that uh, when you're driving Durango you feel yourself like you 
put all bumps back in the asphalt, uh, not, I would say, uh, like reduce them. Uh, with Telluride story a little bit different. For example, I drove for a couple of, of days uh, BMW X5 and previous uh, uh, vehicle of this owner also was X5. And to be honest, I don't feel any difference. It feels like normal European car. And if you like a good handling vehicle, I think uh, Telluride is a nice choice. Also, I would say I would prefer maybe even more Telluride compared to X5 because of the, for me, better seats and uh, uh, better comfort. And this comfort uh, probably because of the bigger wheelbase. Because I always tell to all people who watching our channel that if you like something comfortable, you need to choose something longer one. Because with a long wheelbase, uh, your vehicle can reduce much more bumps on the road. Car has really nice uh, observation around and really nice view through the whole windows and even through the back windows is really nice and whatever you're not gonna see through the back windows uh, camera which equipped with this vehicle is awesome and screen is awesome and I always tell why other car manufacturer doesn't do so good quality of screen if everything from China are now so cheap and don't tell us please that you're supposed to charge us for all these uh, cameras and uh, the screens thousands of dollars uh, right now it's so cheap and you definitely can put on all of your vehicle more i would say more high-tech stuff and more better stuff a lot of car uh, magazine reporter tells that kia right now has one, one of the best uh, i would say like safety features on the market and even tesla maybe not so good uh, because the tesla usually require to keep your steering wheel uh, like like in your hands for uh, more often time with the Kia right now I completely drop my hands and they ask me just to touch the steering wheel slightly once in a while it's re really really nice I, I never enjoy a vehicle like this like definitely for example if you compare Kia with a uh, Honda I think uh, uh, Kia in this case feels better right now I completely leave my hands from the steering wheel and car drives fine without any problem. You see, in front of us it's gonna be some turn and car is braking, Kia doing the same. We'll see how they will do during this turn. I'm not holding the steering wheel, it's really comfortable. I would say you don't have to even touch it. It's not a me, it's Kia. I don't turn this wheel, steering wheel. The Kia doing by himself. And I would say it's definitely better than on, Hon on Honda's vehicle. It was just first asked to hold the steering wheel for a couple minutes. Okay, we need to turn. If we will talk about uh, all the settings, for example, if you're using this vehicle in a sport setting, I think it's also more comfortable compared to, for example, with the MDX. Because MDX is really more aggressive vehicle and maybe some people will like it, but at the same time you really hear the noise from this engine because it's hold it, uh, because the vehicle holds the uh, uh, RPM in more higher zone. For Kia, it's not so like often and so loud and you during normal driving you don't feel that you're driving in some sports mode but as soon as you press accelerator it's like fly away here telluride definitely will not disappoint the uh, german cars owners if they're gonna switch it to kia but only one bad thing about it because the suspension again as on a german car uh, more rough and uh, during that for example turn on a bumpy road you feel that your vehicle try to change the uh, direction but again if you hold your steering wheel well it's not gonna be a problem the braking distance one of the shortest in the class it's 118 feet to, from 60 miles per hour better of course on bmw big w x7 can do the, exactly the same for 110 and a little bit better on Toyota Highlander, newer generation, but the worst uh, even on Mazda CX-9, which a lot of people think that's the best handling vehicle in a class. The acceleration dynamic of Kia Telluride is not bad. I would say on a better side of this class. It's uh, 
7 seconds to uh, 60 miles per hour. Better only uh, uh, Honda Pilot and uh, Chevy Traverse. Honda Pilot usually show result around 6.3, 6.5. Traverse 6.5, 6.7 to 60 miles per hour. Okay, guys, let's check how it looks uh, 2021 Kia Telluride underneath of the car. Of course, you're not going to see anything crazy because car has just 9,000 miles, which is nothing for any car. Uh, and uh, let's see how it looks because right now we only can see how design this car. And uh, to be honest, it's really important to uh, get opinion by mechanic because mechanic definitely would recommend you something easy to repair easy to fix because he don't want to have any headaches in his garage that's uh, that's why i would like to check how it's looking and tell you my opinion okay that's how kia telluride looks under the knees first of all what i would like to tell like according to my mechanic view it look very very easy to maintain under the knees you see drive shaft is open you can reach for to any point of the end, to middle bearing, to end of the uh, drive shaft next to the main gear. Engine under the knees looks completely clear without, uh, usually you can see something like uh, from part of the suffering, this part uh, over here, but nothing is here, everything is clear. Uh, everything easy to reach, starter, AC compressor, only one bad thing which I can tell you that this is a steel oil pan. With the usual quality of a Kia, I would prefer to have aluminum one, but maybe they try to save money. And also look at this oil filter. It's very nice and easy to reach, but maybe for some off-roading, not the best place to place it. But I would say nobody gonna go anywhere on this car. It's, it's very nice to have it, this parts here to easy maintain. It really surprised me why Kia didn't put something like soft material under the uh, wheels to protect them from noise, for example, as over here uh, along the whole body. But right now I see the reason, because they put noise insulation behind the plastic mud shield, which is maybe a good idea, but I know that this kind of design usually accumulates a lot of dust and water. Maybe not really good in New England area. Dry belt also very easy to reach, again, like Maintenance on this car looks like supposed to be very easy. Front suspension is McPherson, which is maybe not really nice for comfort, but we don't, we cannot tell this, but very easy to maintain. Uh, stabilizer links, and we're, uh, sorry, stabilizer bar is not the widest one, just 22 millimeter or 25 millimeter on the front and on the back, which is explain why this car has maybe a little bit bigger ro rollover compared to, for example, Acura MDX. Telluride has very nice coverage under the knees of the car with a soft material to reduce noise and dust. But at the same time, it's really surprised me because I know how horrible metal on Kia. I hope they change something because usually you never saw kind of this metal under the knees of Hyundai or Kia. Usually it was covered something like this with a rubber. But right now we see it's naked metal and I hope they did it something because for example, welding spot is very accurate, much better than on an Infiniti, but I really worry about metal of Kia Telluride. Also for me, with my Kia experience, it's really, I would say, bother me. This uh, type of uh, uh, tubes, probably that's for heating, because they're from steel, and usually these tubes from Kia get rusty very fast. But again, you have 10 years warranty. You don't have to worry about it. Interesting thing, for example, behind this, Cover, I see something like like brown and it looks like anti-corrodium protection, which I never saw on Korean brands. On a six version with a towing package, you can get self-levering rear suspension, which can adjust your height depending on what you attach to the vehicle. For example, like boat on any like trailer, or for example, if you have a lot of people inside. And also right now Kia has much more uh, aluminum with rear suspension but right now for example also you can see why Kia didn't put uh, double exhaust on this car for, because on the left side they put spare tires and the main exhaust just on the right side and the same story with the fuel tanks that's why maybe this exhaust explain why Kia has pretty small tank for this kind of class of vehicle because all uh, part of the right side uh, you fill it with the resonator and the left part is fuel tank 
But at the same time it's good because right now you don't have to worry about fuel pump reliability because you have only one which is located on the left side. Because for most of the time vehicles when they have like a fuel tank with two pieces, one of them on the right, one of them on the left, you're supposed to get two fuel pump which is reduce reliability of the car. Very weird that they didn't put any uh, coverage under the knees of the engine. I believe they have because you see it's like metal clips over here. Probably somebody who did oil change before on this vehicle didn't put it. I believe it's dealership. Okay, as a summary, what I can tell about Kia Telluride. It's amazing car, perfect, unbelievable car, but maybe just for 10 years in the New England area. In some southern states or in any other area with more dry cli climate, it's also a really good car. But as we can see, this car also not so big as they try to advertise for us. For example, we see that they really liars about trunk space. I don't know how they put this number, but it's completely lie. And also, I don't know about the interior. Yeah, it's big, but for third row, I would say, I will wait for right now for full size Kia SUV. Maybe it's gonna be normal middle size. But if you before were a fan of German car as BMW X5 or for example Infiniti X60, you're thinking about buying this car, I would say think about Kia Telluride. It really surprised you. First of all, you're not gonna get headache with great uh, Kia warranty. And another reason, it's so much equipment in this car for so, let's say, low price. Also not really honest price for this car, which really makes this car a great choice. Thank you for watching us guys and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.